Hello and welcome to CC Institutors and I'm starting to play Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Hopefully at least. Yes, uh, this is the latest of Sherlock Holmes games for now. Uh, the Vagant coming soon. Uh, but yeah, this is Chapter 1. And um, it's described as an origin story and originally released in November 2021. We are following young Sherlock Holmes. I think I'll have to check. Oh, 21 years old, and um, the adventures happens in Mediterranean island of Cordona. Uh, I think what I have gathered is that um, uh, it's open world uh, detective mysteries between here and there, and apparently fighting, which is something that not everyone enjoys of. I uh, some say it's not that great. I don't know. We will see. Uh, what is this play more? Oh, right. I think I have every mm, mission DLC, if I understood correctly, installed. And um, let's see quickly check. Yeah, we have difficulty. Um, I think this is the normal. You have investigation progress notification on, interactive icons on, and decision making time normal, chemical analysis normal. Then you have master of deduction, everything off, and uh, harder chemical analysis and decision making time. Uh, although this is tempting, I'll go with Minecraft version where it's uh, I can customize. I keep the notifications off, but keep the decision making time normal. Because, well, English, first first of all, is not my native language, so it will take a little time to read it, usually. So I keep this normal. I might change it the harder if it... how it goes. Chemical analysis, uh, I don't know if I want to keep those as hard, so I keep it normal. Combat, I'll go with the balanced for now. I can't skip. Uh, damage received is 100%. Enemy stun duration, knife, whatever that means. Enough book, research, arrest, bonus, 30 or uh story making much easier and of course there's the custom I how low you could go well it's 70 or 100 uh but like like i say i'm going with the balance for now if the combat starts to feel constricting the game because i mainly play these games for story and uh, trying to find the culprit so if the combat starts to uh, be a problematic, then I'll drop it down and even skip if need be. But for now, with balanced. I'll play with mouse and keyboard. I was debating use the controller. I might try it at some point, but for now at least I play with the mouse and keyboard. I think that's it for now. And we ch I yes, I have a continue because I checked everything should be fine let's see how that goes so new game it is previous other sale yes it will be and um, there will be a in-game video and i'll shut up for that Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the weeks-long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. 
And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Ah, oh, at last. I am quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. Lovely looking scenery. Hey, Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. Okay, so we are in game. How's my mouse? I'll check if it's okay. Gameplay, maybe a little bit less. So we have controls, a movement, WASD. I changed a few buttons, so left control is sprint and walk. To be honest, I might. Well, I'll keep the for now. Okay. Uh, statistics. What do we have here? Cases taken, cases closed, character, portrait, phone, accusation one, imagination result. Oh, right. Yeah, we don't have Watson. 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 We have. We have John. No idea who he is, but I think we will find out in the meantime. Mind Palace, Mother's Love. So we have this. Facebook, Mother's Love. I arrived at Cordona, the island where I spent my childhood, accompanied by my only friend, John. It's late evening, but I have a room booked at the hotel Il Palazzo del Lusso. I simply need to check in with the receptionist. It seems as if I must spend a night here before I can visit my mother's grave. We have a place of map, a pin, evidence, and back. I hope we get a little tutorial. There was how to play this game, but... Uh, Probably have to check that again. John's diary, notes. No notes whatsoever. It will be filled. So this is our playing area, it would seem. And um, what do we have? Compass mark. Ah. So, okay. Compass mark and place mark, we can treasure something, something. Uh, shortcut, mystery, treasure, act Cordona as the recipe. Okay. And, um, and focus on player. Oh. Uh, oh, that's probably not good. But, anyways, and wardrobe. What do we have in here? We can, yeah, there, I was reading about how to play this game. There's actually uh, disguises, obviously, because this is a Sherlock Holmes game. I almost said Acupuero, been playing those, and options. But I think that's enough. Let's see what we can find. So we can move and interact. Can I interact with you? No. How about you? No. Oh, a little bit stuttery there. What happened there? Then we have this. Ah, Turkish engineer, sympathetic polyglot. Welsh noble, affable perfectionist. Okay. What about John then? Oh. Nothing about John. That's not great. And you are, sir, Welsh aristocrat, friendly, conservative. Can I talk to you? No. A statue. Yeah. And this is a third-person game, and we have a weird movement. But that's okay. Yeah, this is a third-person game. Uh, you can't play in the first person. 
I don't know if there's a mods for that, but nothing more. Can I? Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. I'm right behind you. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. Well, thank you. Looking lovely. So, can I? Let's zoom in. No, nothing from you. So we probably need to open the door. Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. Mm, of course you do. Everything loose, looks loose, looks quite nice. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I... I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Yeah, so 221. Obviously, is direct to Bigger Street 221. Yeah, well, yeah. Anything I can know. Chairman's physician and sympathetic suffered a severe blood loss. So there's a Wamber around here. Okay. Um, John is right over there. Can I talk to you? Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Well, I think it's best to go our room then. Okay. Everybody's scrubbing the floors. Two two nine. And uh, two two eight. Two two seven. Can I take something from here? Oh, a letter lost in the hotel. Dear James, I read your treatise on the binomial theorem. Binomial, sorry, theorem, with great interest, and although some parts of it still remain unclear for me, I must say that you have done an impressive amount of research. I strongly recommend you publish as soon as possible, for I anticipate a great and wide practical usage of your method as soon as it becomes known. Sincerely yours, Professor Gilbert. A letter lost in the hotel. Okay. Honestly, I'm starting to think I should probably put interactive things back to on so I don't miss anything, but... Was that just something shining, maybe? So, moving on to the six. Don't drop the lantern. Crumpy looking fellow. Hmm. Great big bushy beard. Can I enter here? No. So, two to five. Oh. Yes, I agree. That's not our room. Who are you? I do like your mustache, sir. I compliment. Very well done. Well, I'm guessing our room is... Well, it's somewhere over there. I'll go and... Ooh, lovely. Uh, floor tiling. Can I talk to you, good sir? Would drink. you like a drink, sir? I, I'm parched. Would you like a drink, sir? Can I would have? You like a drink, sir? I would like to have a drink, but apparently, they're not selling me drinks. Hmm. Is that cheese or ham? I'm guessing cheese. Pardon, Monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Okay. Fine. Why do we have... I want that. I definitely want that. But I'm not allowed to take it. <laughs> mm. 
I think I saw your brother upstairs. Perhaps you are twins. Or a doppelganger. Or a very fast moving servant. Anyways, up we go. And trying to again find our room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. That's an interesting shadow. Two to four. <sighs> of course, it's my. That's my room because there's my luggages. Uh, okay. Let us in. I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime, you would like to relax in the foyer. Tonight, the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Jesus, John, where did you come from? Sneaking up on me like that? I'm starting to think John is not a real person. <laughs> Are you following me, John? Nope. Yeah, I think the servant's shadow is a little bit bugging out. Anywho. Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Okay. So the reships are going to me and set the room to prepare for me upstairs. The servant told me that my room is not yet ready. I guess I will have to spend some time in the foyer. John found an advertisement in the hall and wants me to take a look. Oh. A medium, John, haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Well, he is correct. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me? Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir... It's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth... Like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. That guy reminds me of Elden John somehow. Don't know. Come now, Sherry. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. I've been trying to get the drink. Can I get now, please? Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce? Sherry, uh, I'm over here with my new ursine companion. Okay. So Cordon this is, is even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? A game, you say? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well then, you can deliver it to him as well. Deliver it to him. <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Oh, stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. All right. Um, do I need to do something with this? So. 
Shun decided to look for a free table and asked me to collect complimentary ceviche from ceviche from bar over the dish. Shun found an exotic cane on our table and wants me to inspect it. Immediately we must meet for the wait for the seance to end. In the meantime, I'll find myself a table to enter. Okay. So we need to uh inspect it okay so we have zero of three to find okay now i have it the hand grip is a head of a golden javanese statue probably stolen from a temple the dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon okay a crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow perhaps the fielding family or meadows or Craven, from the old English name, meaning garlic place. Garlic place. Greg the garlic farmer. The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for and bears the scars of numerous hits. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. All right, I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press F to open the casebook, pin the evidence with X and then speak to someone. Try it now with the cane. Press details for more. Okay, yeah, I'll have to check these. I'll, I did check these, but... Uh, so we have, uh, oh, what do we have here? Oh, letter lost it. Okay. And, um, case book, the lost gain. So let's pin the evidence. And, um, let's talk to him pardon monsieur but i am not in the mood to talk let's not talk to him um who would be a prime object to ask iris accountant sympathetic tense horses okay she seems nice may i ask you something of course stop me when you've had enough there were three people at the table, a couple and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out to the front garden for some air. I have to find him. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Okay. Uh, so Navy officer, the retired Navy officer who was sitting in at our table may own the cane or know who does. John has a bet I cannot guess the officer on the first try. I should prove him wrong. So let's pin that. And, um... So, they said that um, he should be outside getting some air give these people air so let's go and see what we can find from outside hmm welsh art is affable lung disease how do we know that he has a lung disease apparently italian diplomat Cordonian artist. Iris engineer. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think he's here. This is a Scottish noble. Who's that third one? Ah, that was the German physicist. And you, sir? 
Scottish aristocrat. And how do we know he's illiterate? Hmm. I have to... Well. Italian auditor. Crimean. I'm not certain what I'm supposed to... Swedish adventurer. Italian noble. Oh, not you. So, if I understood correctly... There were three people at the table. A couple of retired Navy observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out the front garden for some air. I have to find him. Uh, front garden. So it probably has to be that. Unless there's another garden somewhere. Uh, so it would be the... Unless there's someone in here. No. This engineer, Welsh artist. And what was Irish engineer? Uh, uh, I'm checking this guy out. Not that one, huh? You lost the bet, Sherry, but don't let that stop your search for the Navy officer. Okay. Help me, please. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Okay. Wait, what? Alas, I lost a bet. The retired Navy officer who was sitting on... But haven't I... I have hinted. Uh, or do I need... Which one I should have been pinning? Sherry must be tired from our towers. I cannot explain his failure at my little challenge in any other way. Yeah, I failed that. Because... Hmm. It's not... Are you saying it's... Well... What is this? That was a Z button. What, what, what would that do? I don't know. Is this familiar to you? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Okay, I guess I need to pin this one then. Huh. Oh, right. So is he outside here or not? May I ask for your assistance? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Right. Help me, please. Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? I know, I know. So... If Sherlock keeps asking the same thing to every person we meet, I'll go mad. Doesn't he realize something is not working? I realize something is not working, but um, um, 
um, do I need to have this pinned? Um, oh, yeah, I noticed. Are you able to help me? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. The Navy officer, Mr. Rhodes, was sitting at our table with the noble couple. The men talked about yachting and the lady was fidgeting with the cane. Perhaps she put it aside and her husband forgot to take it when they went to meet the medium. Now I have a perfect excuse to enter the seance room. Okay. Good. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I need to see what did I make mistake. So if I pin this John's bed, which I did, what does it show to me? Show, show to me. Escape. Aha. Right. So I should have had that uh, cane selected, but because I had this John's bet selected, I didn't see that he's a sailor. That explains quite a lot. Uh, tell us cane if I pin it now, and um... no, he's just okay. To find the cane's owner, I have to look at the former navy officer. I can give the cane back to its owner. Oh. Yes, obviously, but I failed it because, of course, I did. Uh, so, lost cane. Back to the sense room, it is. Well, what can I say? I'll have to be a little more observant. I thought I should, uh, well, I uh, pinned that, um, oh, is there something here? Dark rituals at the graveyard, and so right after I turned the corner I saw him, the necromancer. He started to nervously look around, but I quickly hid behind the gravestone. Common sense told me to run, but my duty to you, my readers, was more important than risk of risk to my own life. Luckily, the vampire did not notice me and continued his devilish ritual. He raised a woman from her grave and ordered her to kill two men who were close by. Then they kissed and made unholy love in the freshly unearthed coffin. It lasted for hours, but when the moon beca became low in the sky, they turned into bats and flew away. Oh. Okay. So this is the seance room, I'm guessing. Can I do something with that? Nothing. Can I talk to you? Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. Uh, how do I remove that? Um, pin, pin. Okay, that works. Do we have something new in here? Does Sherry... Use clues and direction to determine who can answer his question, or is it merely luck? Either way, great success. No, it wasn't. Uh, okay, one question, one answer. Bravo, Shere. And dark rituals. Okay. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves! First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hey boy, that's my cane! I get that a lot, it's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... 
It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Oh, we can observe. So... Swollen reddish skin. Rich and fashionable. Uh... Doesn't wear a wedding ring. A head of garlic. And yeah, recently hit someone with force. Um, head of garlic doesn't wear wedding rings while reddish. Judging by the heraldic emblem on his signet ring and cane, I can barely, I can be fairly certain that this man is Lord Craven, a noble Englishman in the habit of visiting resorts to receive treatment for his liver malady. His florid face indicates that he has succumbed to the temptation to drink a few shots of alcohol. Perhaps he was unsettled by the seance. By his red knuckles, I presume that he takes boxing lessons to strengthen his physical condition. Already annoyed by the disappearance of his cane, he is now infuriated by the theft of a diamond, unsurprisingly. Uh, bored British nobleman. Does it? Uh, okay, that changes is Jesse by the Herald Emblem. He's been constantly drunk. He has issues with his temper. His red knuckles reveal that he's severely beaten at least one person quite recently. His anger issues mixed with alcohol and contrariety. Contrariety could make him a violent person. Or pretty nobleman, it seems. I don't know if that changes anything. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr. Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. Um, what happened at the seance? You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah, it was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. Okay, and what about the diamond? How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty, and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Okay, we need to check that. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. 
Hmm. More evidence updated. Press Z to highlight the interactive areas in the environment around you. This ability must be must recharge before it can be used again. Okay, we have a quite a few places to check. Before that, I'll go get something to drink. Okay, so let's get started. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. No problem whatsoever. What is this? Concentration helps you pick up smaller details about the world around you when you see a scribbled white circle. Press Q to observe the object more closely. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. Hmm, okay. I can't... Anything else? This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Sherry. No. Half a glass of foul Blair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? Nothing much. Yeah, completely honest. There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. Okay, we got a new mine, please. Blue. Anything? Oh, what is that? This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Hmm. So we have a mine, please, update. Nice. Wait a minute. I was... Well, we can check... Options, settings, difficulty. Okay. So, John's diary, what do we have here? Does Sherry use clues? Mm. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? Necromancer, he started nervous loop. Wait a minute, did I miss something? I thought I read the whole paper, and so right after I turned the corner, I saw him on Necromancer. Yes. They flew away. Oh, yeah, I missed. Uh, I managed to obtain a few photographs of the victims. Unfortunately, these were confiscated by the police. Fascinating. I should definitely urge Sherry to gain trust with the police so they allow us to learn more about the vampires. Um, Lord Craven. What is this? It seems the seance went south. I don't know what happened yet, but I doubt the spirits were responsible for a punch to Luca Kalikis Kali Kali face. Perhaps the man who hit him can explain. Okay. Mine Palace. Ghost of the past. Lady Craven faced the window. Hmm, what does the deductions do? Combine clues to make deductions. Clues. Lady Craven faced the window. During the seance, Lady Craven's place at the table was upside the window to the courtyard. Look on a pin with the shape of moth. Yes, that definitely makes sense. We have a this. Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. Hmm. I wonder what this mirror could have witnessed. Can I, I wonder what this mirror could have witnessed. Okay. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. It indeed does. And the lady? Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. So what else we can do in here? Well, we can actually interact. 
to be honest, we have this pulsating thing to tell what we can interact with. So, yeah, we could probably put the interaction on. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Um, spirits? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. We'll find out who did it. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him? Please? Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind palace, Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. Again, I'm almost positive that nobody else has seen that guy and he's just in our head. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. Hmm, indeed. And you? Who are you? Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Oh, you're a police, okay. Can I open this door? No. So we need to... Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Fine. Wait a minute. Can I check anything? Nope. So we have a mind palace. Uh, across the path, Lady Craven's barely conscious, but appears to be unheard. After she has taken a short rest, I should be able to talk to her. Uh, painted at the seance was stopped. It was at this time they noticed that the stone had disappeared. Lord Craven became angry, punching Luca in the face. And of course, accusing him of thievery. The medium blames the ghost for the diamond's disappearance. Okay. So, let's go to the mind palace. Uh, Mothbeam lady pointed across the table. Lord Craven punched the medium. Lady Craven pointed across the seance table at something and screamed. When the when he discovered that the diamond had been stolen, Lord Craven punched the medium in the face. Okay, deductions. Okay. This and this. Okay. Lady Craven was pointing at the window. I'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during the seance. Casebook. Uh, I don't think these are something I can connect. I can try, but look out. Yeah. Casebook opened. So let's go back. Lady Craven must have seen someone. Yes. So let's pin it. During the seance. Witness or an accomplice. I should check the area and see if there are any traces outside. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, oh, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. Probably not. Ah. Recently scratched, something struck. Okay, can I take it? Uh, heal. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. To track someone's movements, first pin the relevant evidence to the screen, then enter concentration mode with Q to reveal the trail. Sherlock will in intuit the approximate path, so stay within that search area. Fine. So let's go here. Someone in the courtyard. It should be this, okay? And... Ah. Uh. I'll check if there's something I can pick from here. Probably nothing. Oh, that? Is that a... Paper or something else. It's a letter. 
Angie. It looks like the old man is losing it. His beehives are being ransacked and his bees are going down one by one. I don't think there is much honey left in staying with the swarm if you catch my drift. Meet me at the docks at noon. We'll do it together. A honey plotter's note. Okay. Let's take a look see. Meet me. Okay, we need to meet somebody in there. But that's neither here nor there. We are going to follow the trails. And why are you wetting your feet in the pool? Not even taking your bloody shoes off. This should be the right place. Obviously, because we can't go anywhere else. Well, we should check the shoes. Size four with a broken heel. Size four. Size four with a broken heel. Up, oh, there we have. Rose de Moor. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless. Oh, no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Uh, so we will keep this pinned. I'm guessing we are going here. Well, you don't look like a maid, but I guess you can help me. Can I talk to you? Or do I need to go... Do I really need to go to the other side? I probably need. Hello? Is this familiar to you? Apologies, sir, but I've never heard of it. Hmm. Okay. So I'm not a lot. You are not helpful. Anything in here? Can I interact with this? No. Um. Maybe we can talk to her. Do you know anything about this? Hmm. You look like an honorable man. I have some information for you. The staff said that Lucia got scolding from the chief steward for wearing common shoes at work. She should be cleaning near pictures upstairs now. Okay. Upstairs we go. Let's run. Pictures. Hmm. Can I ask you anything? Could you help me? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Hmm. Near the painting. Did I miss a painting? Probably I did. Well, there's a painting. Hello. Finally. There you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I, I, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? Hmm. I'm something like crime. A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss... Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. Okay. Well, we are making progress. Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and and chant and a ghost appeared a ghost you're confident hmm? 
It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing cloud or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. Anything else? And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. <laughs> and then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Well, yes, that's actually quite true what Sherlock does. Anyways, so down we go. Nothing I can check here. What is that? Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Okay. Uh, so what is this then? Uh, with enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past. Interact with the node to begin the re begin begin begin. Then recreate an accurate version of events. Here, try to place the seance participants in their correct positions. Okay. I'm just going to sit here. So first things... Oh! Uh, here is... No. No. Yes. Yes. Nope. Seems fine. Do I need to put her in her place? Or is this enough? I think this is enough. So let's validate. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? The ghost of the diamond. Which one ever you mean. Anyways, um, the lone servant in the room, Seance room, told me that the Cravens room Number 226 upstairs. Mine palace. Seance theft. Uh... Right. Oh, oh, yeah. The diamond, was... the diamond was stolen during the seance. We know that, yes. Um, I guess we need to go to the 226 and see how this goes. I'll probably... Yeah, I'll do the diamond thingy, and obviously, probably the next day, and after that, I'll end this episode. I don't know. Why? Whoa, weird. Wait. Two, two, two. Oh, no, no, no. It was 226, so it's right over here, then. This should be 5. So, is it over here then? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall. Uh, gossip can help your invest. 
investigate a case or even discover a new one. So don't hesitate Lady to Craven is not who she seems. eavesdrop Remember on people. When you ear Egon, when you see an ear Egon, I can't even. It's quite early in the morning. So ear ear Egon, hold left button and try to filter out important words from useless chatter. Lady Craven is not who she. What actions? By Lady Craven aroused suspicion in the maid. What actions by Lady Craven? Okay. So, what actions? Suspicious. Made her. Mm. Mm. No, 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 no. I failed it. Uh, I. That Lady Craven is not who she seems. Okay, uh, what can I do with the shadows? I'll check if I can do anything with that. It's low, yes. Um, let's go with medium. And her behavior in the hall. No, it, it doesn't help at all. I'll keep it low. So let's try this again. Um, what actions? Uh, eat. Oh. Okay, I see, I see. Um, Lady Craven is not... Oh, the fish. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, d I just realized the fish knife. Yeah. My tired Lady brains not are not up to the task, if I may say so. Yeah. Sorry about that. I overheard two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossip that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven. By their observation, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. Yeah. Was... yeah. So, new... Well, two staff members talking about Lady Craven. There you go. Let's put that on here. Let's enter. Ooh. You're here. At last. I didn't do that. I swear. I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please, help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici, the medium. Okay, so Emma... And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Okay. Um, where did you... Uh, let's... Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? 
I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. And the meeting. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed, and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Okay. Um. Hmm. So is this, the this real? must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen now forever tainted. Right. Um Oh right, I need to remember I can move. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. Indeed, it was strangled. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. You're a funny guy. So we've done everything here. No, not here, but uh, in this room. What is this? So young and so dead. A remarkably simple Another lock. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. Hmm. Okay. There was something in the other room also. Okay, up. Oh. Lord Craven, you promised me compensation for your gross misconduct in order to cover the cost of my treatment and quell the scandal. Quell the scandal. Yet I have not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after your false accusations. Now, even after my innocence has been proven, I cannot. I can't return to work because of my hand injury. If you continue to ignore me, I shall be forced to appeal to the court. Hmm. Okay. And there's the torn letter. Someone was not happy with his post. Broken. Someone was not happy with his post. Uh, can I not interact with that? Someone was not happy with his post. Huh. Am I missing something? Maybe not. Or maybe... What's Someone wrong? was not happy with his post? Oh, there was another. Letter regarding the stolen ring. Dear sir, I have to inform you that the theft investigation continues. continues. However, the ring has not yet been found. We had to free Elo Dupont, the servant, as we were unable to find any evidence of his participation in the crime. We will inform you of any progress in this case. Lieutenant Cabreau, Marseille Police Commissariat. Okay. Someone was not happy with his post. So what do we have? Um, if you continue to ignore me, yes. Dear Sir, Lord Craven, Mrs. Emma Body. I could pin that and ask about Lord Craven. There has been a 
bite in here, but can I talk to you about these letters? Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Well, to be honest, I don't know that. Um... Mothfin, once the medium, strangled. Uh... Nope. Mm. Different the servants. Uh, the thief that had stolen from Lord Craven on this on his trip was setting up the servants to cover their tracks. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, basically, I could do this. I shouldn't do that, but yeah. Okay. No. Mm, okay, so, yeah, that was a long shot. Um, no, that doesn't work. Let's see the deductions. What do we have in here? Lord Grey is an unstable man who cannot manage his anger. The murderer left the diamond. Whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her the body. Lord Craven was. Lord Craven caught Emma with the stone. Lord Craven returned to the room just as Emma was hiding the diamond and caught her off guard. This is a possibility, but so is this. So let's go and talk to the seance master. Let me look at next to his. Okay, we need to go to receptionist. Let's pin this. So down we go. And hopefully we can get this. Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the seance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. I'm really interested to know about the story of John. But. So 225. Here we are. Before we talk to anyone, I'll check the areas first. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or... A familiar, familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time there's enough for analysis. Okay. Some clues can be examined with chemical analysis. Open your casebook with F and highlight the evidence marked with the flask icon. Press E to start your analysis. Okay. Chemical analysis. Um, level reagents. Three, two, four. And we need and chemical operations. Three. So how does this work? Um Okay. 
Yeah. I, hmm. What am I supposed to? So. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. That is what we need to have. I mean, okay. I call it, uh, the reaction shows that it's, it is a rubber latex mixed with phosphorus. As much as this chemical element is dangerous to hold in the mouth, I am quite disappointed. I expect to find something trickier. Well, you didn't, so we hint at... Your faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. We have a letter. Dear Luca, I hope you will have time to visit our estate and perform another seance. Since I was at last able to speak to my husband through you, I feel that my life has changed completely. I cannot wait until I can speak to him again. I am anxious for your visit. Sincerely yours. Anything else we can... Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Okay, nothing else. Can I check this? Nope. But I can't. Do you always travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. Hmm. Okay. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure this spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Okay, observe. Took a heavy blow, yes. Used a lot of makeup. Trained in sleight of hand. Oh. Interesting. Fresh scrape, slightly bleeding. That would uh, suggest defensive wounds. Um, Luca Calici is lean and appears malnourished. malnourished. His nose is bleeding from heavy punch. His hands and thin fingers are definitely those of a thief trained in delicate work of pickpocketing. He uses makeup to hide possible jail tattoos. He has fresh scratches and scrapes on his free wrists from recent and short fight. I believe he is more criminal than medium and this is a new way of earning money and by deceivingly the wealthy. From a thief become a medium or Luca Kalichi uh, make up to hide races. I think he tries his best as a medium but his business doesn't go well and he sometimes has to go without food. Hmm. It could be down on his luck. Let's go with that. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh. No, wait, what am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I, I'm not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I... 
In fact, I did hear noises. That craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh, well, at least I can make the dead talk. Okay. Um, tell me about your scratches. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. Hmm. Provide evidence. Um, so I need to choose evidence and... Um... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I need to go. Okay. So Let's go to the mind palace. Anything else? Make up to hide traces of his illness of from malnourishment. Yes. Countess Lemore. Uh, can I ask about that? Nope. I need to go. Mind palace and. Um... Emma left scratches on Luca's hand while fighting for her life, most likely. But, um... While roughly escorting Luca to be locked in his room, the servants mistreated and scratched him. Uh... Um... The lock between the two hotel rooms weak Luca could pick it easily. Uh, hmm. Right. That is true. Hmm. Interesting. What am I supposed to do now? Rubber and latex. Right. I'm still probably missing something. Can I talk to you? I need to go. Well, let's try this. Can I use this ectoplasm? Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Hmm. Uh... Wait, what is that? Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough. Yeah. Probably missing something. Can I talk to this you? This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. Okay. Can I ask you anything else?
this is all just a big miss right um understanding the spirits confirm it this is all just a big misunderstanding the spirits confirm it okay uh do we have something else which we could find oh we can check the paintings i will do that first those are the sharp eyes of a man with a bright mind almost like mine whoa what a breathtaking man so what in, what are we missing because we are definitely missing something wait was that showing earlier this i mean too shallow false bottom ah, a neat hiding place why would she conceal all of this i don't know we will probably There it is. Virtus or Dactus Sapit, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. It is. Come up a little bit. There you go. Whoa. Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others. And the design is familiar. That is true. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Hmm. Oh. Fard Rouge Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. Interesting. So we managed to find a pile of money and family ring hidden in the secret stairs amongst Mrs. Emma's perfumes. Let's spin that for now. Actually, these two. Well, yeah, let's start with that. Uh, moth pin and moth ring. Could have met before. Jewelry with the same moth design. Could they have something in common? Maybe. Um, can I talk to you about these things? And I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Hmm. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? That's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Okay. Now, let's go and uh, talk to our seance master. Let's start with these. The spirits are silent, and so am I. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewellery. No. So what do we have now? What reminds me of his happy youth? And common. It could be yes. So what do we have in mind place now? Hmm. 
Maybe... Uh, right. Emma had a history of deceit. Emma was thief, but made Lord Craven believe that the servants were stealing. She'd done it throughout the trip. Wait, what is that? Wait a minute. So, stealing. Okay. Luca could know Emma was a thief. If their paths had crossed in the past, Luca could well know of Emma's predilection for Tivre. Um, Luca could know Emma set him up. The medium Luca Kalichi could have known that Emma was a thief and that she was trying to frame him for her crime. Hmm. It definitely seems like um, what happens with this. What do we have then? Lord Crane was furious when he discovered that Emma had stolen from him. Interesting. Can I ask anything about that? I could I, ac I could accuse. Honestly, uh We have this still. Can I ask about that? To be honest, I don't know if I can. Because he's not... I do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Yes, again, I don't know that. Um... Can... Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. I'll go and check the bar, because and there are points that could, well, there are points towards Luca being guilty or... Isn't anyway. life too short to remain sober? It might be. Do you know anything about this? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. I found a witness who advises that Lord Craven spent only a short time in the bar after he left the seance room. Oh. Really? Lord Craven had time to kill Emma. Lord Craven had enough time to kill Emma before I arrived. The murderer had time to kill Emma while Lord Craven was drinking. Ooh. Um, to be honest, I'm more inclined to think that um, Luca was definitely an accomplice with her. So why would he leave the diamond if he did the killing. Obviously, of course, he couldn't take... Uh... But he has a quick temper. Hmm. Can I talk to you about... Do the... something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that.
<sighs> Definitely could, but did he? Uh, scratches? Yeah, maybe. Be honest, I go with the. Lord Craven is a murderer. Lord Craven was problems with his temper. He strangled Emma in a fit of rage when he found out she was stealing from him. Craven cannot control his temper and has the money and influence to escape punishment. I must bring him to justice. And this is not the first time he has done that. Craven fell prey of professional criminal. Given Emma's checkered past, her killing was an act of self-defense. It's not the self-defense. If I am assuming that Lord Craven is the murderer, even if she stole her from her, that's not a self-defense. I'll go with this. No. How do I... I want to select this, okay? So what do I do now? Back. I cannot cover for you, Lord Craven. The facts are conclusive. You murdered your mistress. It wasn't me. You have no proof, not a whit. Um, you had time to kill her. A couple of whiskies go down fast for an alcoholic. That left you plenty of time for murder. That's ridiculous. I am no alcoholic. And there are witnesses who will attest I was there for at least a quarter of an hour. No, there were not. You entered the room just as Miss Emma was hiding the diamond. Discovering that she was the thief was the final straw. Preposterous! I didn't know a thing about it until you showed me her stash. I didn't show. Well, You have bruised knuckles and you look a mess. The poor woman fought for her life and you bear all the evidence. This whole evening was a mess. You know I got into a scuffle with the medium in the seance room. Nothing has changed since then. You're not to arrest you. There's plenty of proof, sir. The police would certainly arrest you. You scoundrel. You said you would help me. I had nothing to do with it, as you will soon see. You are dangerous, Lord Craven. Beating your servants is one thing, but murder is another. You will not get away with this. I'll get out of this, Mr. Holmes, and I swear I'll find you. I will find you. Well, I go with that. Don't you bastards dare touch me! Holmes, you'll rue the day you gave me my cane when it comes swinging at your head! Yeah, that sounds lovely. If Craven wants to claim his innocence, he should be more careful how he talks. Money talks too, Sherry. Let's hope it's not too loud. Ah, <sighs> okay. Probably made a bad mistake there, but who knows. Slav asked the receptionist about my room. It's time to visit the cemetery. John steals bad photos. Make sure. Okay. Oh, press any button. Okay. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you. Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness. So we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything. Even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Hmm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? Ah, uh, a figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, oh, damn. Well, take one last look at the view. Then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for.
new entry in John's diary back to Cordona, new mind palace. Okay, uh, let's see the diary. I'm starting to end this. Yeah, retired Navy officer still bothering me. Uh, I, blah, blah, blah. I don't know where I spent my childhood. I simply need to check in with the receptionist. It seems as if I must spend. Yes. Night at Il Palazzo del Luso and fell into criminal investigation. That's not how I imagined my time in Cordona, but the thrill of the case helped to distract me from darker thoughts. Now it's time to go to the cemetery in Miner's End, and there is a figure of crying angel on Mother's tombstone. And my imaginary. Yeah. Oh, we already know that. John has been my friend since childhood. I cannot remember at time without him. He cannot accept that only I can see him. Okay. And um, what marvelous occasion witnessing death by a ghost. Who would have anticipated such a thrilling evening? Sherry is adept at getting the truth even when people won't talk. A ninja could not have done better, though may have looked cooler. How does Sherry always do exactly what to do to get the answer. There are so many variables. Incredible. I didn't like the Lord Crane from the get-go. He resembled a wounded bull in the arena and his mistress, the unlucky Matador. So yes, now we have finally opened the map and the cemetery is somewhere there. Well, at least part of the map. That was a bit of a tutorial. I'm guessing we still have few tutorials left, but that is for the next time. And uh, let's... Oh! I think is that us. Okay. Oh, I can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can tap to run or. Oh, there's a paper paper boy. Let's take that before I end this episode. Hello. Well, not a paper boy. Sorry about that. Can I not? Give me the papers. Well, let's talk to John. Ah, can't go through there. Sherry, I forbid you to spend another night here. The hotel's reputation won't survive a second investigation. Hmm, true, true. So do I have a wardrobe? Okay. Probably not yet. Anyways, um, I'll make a save here. Mother's law. And uh, next episode, we will be continuing to visit our mother's grave and see what this island has to offer. So... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.